Hello there, and uh, welcome back to the Academy of Historical Fencing. Today I'm going to be uh, giving you a short review, an overview, of this Darkwoods Type 2B Scivona. Um, it's one that I ordered last, I think, yeah, it was last year, uh, along with several other Scivonas, um, to sort of add to my collection, and to also have to review and to compare to other Scivonas. Now, I have had um, a Darkwoods Scivona for a, well, about a decade now, which, if I just grab it, there it is. Uh, this is my original um, type. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is my original type two Scivona, um, or sort of early, or earlier, earlier-ish uh, Scivona. And this is the one I've done a video review on already. Uh, it's broken several times. It's been repaired, restored, and brought back into service. Um, and yeah, it's it's a it's a really nice sword. Just showing you, just for comparison. Um, if you go to the website and you want to order a Darkwood Scivona, um, these are the two hilts that you can choose from. Um, they're unfortunately incorrectly labelled. They may have changed it by now, um, but the last time I checked, just before Christmas, this I believe was called a Type Two, and this was called a Type One, um, which they most definitely are not. Um, and neither of them are a Type One. Um, they're both Type Twos. So let's pop this one back. So if you want to see a review of that other Scivona, it's already uh, on YouTube. Just go to our channel, search for Scivona Review, and you'll find it quite easily. Now this particular example, it's more expensive. Um, I chose it with all the options. So you know, I was looking for a new sword from Darkwood, and I thought, screw it, I'm gonna, I'm basically, I'm gonna tick every little box, so I'll have all the options. Um, and the end result, is a bit of a clunker to be honest. Um, so I'm gonna to have to make a few changes. But if we have a look at what we've actually got, we've got the really nice hilt, um, which has been properly polished. I believe this is their bright finish. Um, so it, it looks basically all like nicely, nice properly polished steel, um, although not particularly polished inside, as is common with a lot of, a lot of Scavonas. So, that was the basket I ordered. There are no options on the basket. You just get to choose the earlier or the later basket. So I chose this one. Pommel, you've got to have a cat's head pommel. And um, you can have the plain steel, like, like was on the other one. Or you can have, I believe this is brass. Um, and it's quite a tarnished looking brass. It, um, I've actually given it a bit of a polish to try and make it a bit shinier, but I mean, in fact, in this light, it almost looks black. But uh, it's very, very dark. It's, it's more, it's like, like it's, been sort of buried in a troll cave and found by some hobbits. So yeah, it is looking, it, it is quite dark. Definitely not a shiny gold piece. Um, and then it's just got a really boring squared off nut fitted on the end that is not particularly sexy to look at. So not super impressed with that. My Jesse Belsky has a much nicer uh, pommel nut on it than that. Um, I went for the wire wrap, which isn't cheap. Um, I think they charge over $100 just to get the wire wrap with the um, Turk's head. Um, sort of at the ends. It looks nice, um, feels nice, although it's a little rough back towards the pommel. If I was ordering it again, not convinced I'd bother with it. And most of the historical examples you find tends to have wood wrapped in leather, and then they may have um, thinner wire wrapped around the leather, or nothing at all, just, just the leather kept as it was. Um, so you do find these, but um, most of the historical examples I've seen don't have quite um, uh, basically, they don't have an over-the-top wire-wrapped grip like this. Um, I also, um, it doesn't, if you order it on the website, there's no mention of a thumb ring. And if you just order it and don't tell them anything, I believe it comes without a thumb ring. So you need to actually ask uh, in the comments or send them a message and say, please add a thumb ring. Um, and the thumb ring is, it's an important part of a Scavona. Um, I've, I've, I've never held an original, whoops, I've never held an original Scavona that doesn't have one. Um, and once you put a thumb ring on there, um, you can use it, you basically you can rest your thumb here, put your hand around in a, uh, in your standard um, sort, of, um, sort of handshake grip. Not handshake grip, but you know, just have your thumb drop through here. You can use it as a basket hilted sword quite nicely then. Or you can pop your finger forwards, wrap it around, quillen and then your thumb will just go through and rest either against the blade or just next to the thumb ring and you can use it 
um, uh, more like you'd expect to use a side sword. So you've got a variety of different options. So definitely get the thumb ring added. My other one doesn't, um, and it, it is a shame. Saying that, the thumb ring is a little bit too far back. It should be a little further forward for it to be comfortable. So it's not perfect. Uh, I don't know whether they can change that when you order. Um, it has the um, uh, the quillen um, is properly bent over, so that's nice. Um, overall finish is really good. It's actually a really nice looking basket hilt. Um, and it's not massively oversized as well. And if you look at my hand, you know, some of them are massive. This one is actually much more reasonable. Uh, and that cuts down a bit of ways as well, which helps. Uh, it's the standard um, uh, darkwood broadsword blade, which apparently is one of their stronger blades because I've had a lot of their blades break. Um, personally, I think, although it's technically, historically, the right kind of blade to fit, um, it's not a particularly good blade in terms of its handling characteristics with this hilt. Um, so I may change that to something else. Uh, and then the usual um, uh, tip, so you don't hurt anybody when you stab them. So that's the overall sword. It looks nice. It looks basically a lot nicer than it handles. When you put your hand in it, and then you want to try and fight, um, it feels heavy, and it feels dead. Uh, there's weight, a lot of weight, here, so in the hilt, and just in front of the hand. Um, so it feels like you're using a dumbbell rather than a sword. Look at, all right, I'm going to try to look at the lens, not the screen. So, uh, that part I wasn't particularly impressed with. Um, if you... Uh, finger, you know, bring your finger over the um, um, the, uh, the quillen and try and bring the point out in front of you and even just doing this it's really uncomfortable on the arm I can feel the strain now um, there's a lot of weight there uh, and it's all not really in the right place so it's quite an uncomfortable sword to use you're going to have to basically be arcing this quite a lot and unfortunately you know, when I say arcing is you're going to have to be performing a lot of rotational strikes um, if you try and use this with finesse and bring it back and using more point work, um, all that extra weight is going to slow you down. Uh, it's not a particularly long blade. I'm pretty sure this is the 37 inch. Um, I'll, do I'll double check on that and I'll put it in the description. Whatever it is, it's not particularly long. It's shorter than my originals uh, and yet it feels he well, it is heavier and it is quite sluggish in comparison. So, um, and I've only used it a few times to fight, and the damn thing is already rattling loose. The bane of my Darkwood swords. And yes, I know there are all kinds of things you can do to stop that. So why don't they do it before they ship it? Hmm? Well, I shouldn't have to do that. That's not my job. I buy it to use it, not to have to mod it so it doesn't rattle all the time. So I don't like that. That really annoys me. I hate rattling swords. Um, and the pommel is already starting to turn... So you can see it doesn't line up now, it's moving away, and the looser it gets, the more it'll turn. So that's just a pain in the backside. So um, overall, um, and I got everything that I ordered, um, but I think the final sword is, is clunky, um, but it looks nice. Uh, if you're gonna order one yourself, and um, there are a few things I would consider changing, go for just a plain leather grip. It'll save you at least $100. Um, it's more comfortable to hold, and it also you don't get the abrasion from the Turk's head here, uh, which can cut into your glove a little bit. Um, get a bright finish on this pommel if they offer it. Try and you know, shine it up. You need a bit of bling on your Scavona. It's too dark. Make sure you get the thumb ring. Don't get the um, broadsword blade. Go for something lighter like the Sparda or the side sword blade. Uh, my other sword has the side sword blade. You can um, you, know, you can still you know they offer there are various things that, uh, they will do. Um, if you want the blade to look a little nicer, um, but it's the, the Sparta or the side sword blade handle much nicer, even if they don't look quite so pretty as the um, the broadsword blade. Um, and if you do that, I think you'll end up with a much better sword. Um, whichever option you choose, it is quite weighty anyway. So, but basically, try and get around the weight by making a few changes to the rest of the specification. But no matter what you do, this is quite a chunky cage. So just bear that in mind. I haven't weighed it on its own, but there's a lot of metal in there. Um, and it's quite thick. Yeah, it's basically, it's like a tank. So, quite a short review. Uh, basically, there's good and bad points about it. Just change some of the spec and you'll end up with a much better sword. 
Um, and obviously, make sure to sort this um, rattling out, otherwise you'll get just as annoyed as I do. So this is the dark wood. I believe they call it the typed, well, it's a dark wood type, type B, uh, 2B Skivona. Broadsword blade, thumb ring, wire wrap, um, cat's head pommel in bronze or gold, whatever they call it. And it's got the, uh, the nut on the back. And that's it. Um, any other questions about this particular sword or Skivonas in general, or in fact anything to do with swords, um, pop, a, pop a comment in the, uh, the comment section um, and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, thanks for watching and please do subscribe. Um, as we keep saying, it does really help the channel. Uh, helps get the word out there, spread the gospel of the sword. Thank you again.